I've got to tell you, if we listen to the voice of God, God will bless us. Now, one of my favorite comedians, uh, good old uh, God bless her heart, Lily Tomlin says, when we talk to God, it's called prayer. When God talks to us, it's called schizophrenia. And I've learned over the years that is not true. Amen. When we talk to God, God talks back. And members of this church, I want to tell you this morning, if God tells you to go over and talk to the wall, go talk to the wall. Amen. You don't know who's on the other side waiting for the message you're going to take to them. Amen. So listen to the voice of God. Second thing I want you to remember this morning about being the church of Jesus Christ is this. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. Now, some of you have heard me say this before, but I'm going to say it again. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. And, and say it with me. The main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. Now, for we who are part of the Christian faith, we know what that main thing is. It's Jesus in the center of our ministry, amen. It's knowing that Jesus lives in our hearts and our lives. It knowing that Jesus cares about people, amen. amen. Every once in a while I preach and I tell people, you know, amen, God calls us to be God's children through Jesus Christ. And I wanna tell you, we who are part of the Christian faith, we know that's true. And we know what God can do with us through Jesus Christ. And it's not being afraid of what uh, God wants to do with Jesus in the midst of our hearts and our lives. Oh my goodness gracious, I believe with all my heart that God has sent Jesus to be among God's people this morning. In the middle of the storm we're in, in the middle of this nonsense, just before I reached church this morning, uh, I saw on television uh, that we have started bombing Afghanistan. And we got to pray for people. Uh, uh, in one breath, as I said, they're bombing. In the next breath, uh, they're feeding people. It's not a good thing. Reverend Dick said it this morning right. And she said, is that half a sin? And I said, no, war is war. It's awful. Amen. Wherever it is, it's not a good thing. God wants us to live in peace. And yet we know human beings are not perfect people. Amen. And uh, the government would do what the government's going to do. Uh, we can do the best we can do in, in the middle of the storm. But the government's going to do what they want to do. Amen. There was a young mother in Brazil. Her name was Maria. And Maria had a wonderful, lovely daughter. Her husband had died when her daughter Christina was three years old. She watched that young lady grow up, but by the age of 17, all at once, Christina wanted to leave home. Mother was very, very concerned and very worried, just worried for the welfare of her daughter. And finally, uh, that morning came when she got up and Christina was gone. Christina had ran away to the big city. The mother knew because of what she had said, what city she was going to, but that mother's heart fell because she knew what her daughter would have to do for a living to survive in that city without relatives or anything else. And it really bothered her. She went to God in prayer, asked what she should do. I'm going to find my daughter and bring her back home no matter what. And Maria, just she was getting ready to board the bus for the Brazilian city where she knew her daughter had ran away to. She all at once had an inspiration. She walked into a little camera shop and there she had photographs taken of herself. Photographs, several hundred of them. That mother knew where she was going to have to go to find Chris Christina, and she took those photographs and when she went into those places, houses of ill repute, prostitution, when she went into those places where uh, good folks wouldn't go, but she knew her daughter, if she was there, was having to live that kind of a life. She took her picture and she immediately uh, took a piece of tape and taped it on the mirrors in the restrooms of all the hotels, of all the houses of prostitution, everything she could get near where she could do it. And she left and went back home. Oh, it took about six months but one day Christina the daughter walked down a hotel flight of stairs took one look and could not believe it in front of her was a picture of her mother she couldn't believe it and she walked up took that picture off the wall turned it over and the mother had written on the back no matter what you become no matter what you've done come home I love you and I want to tell you this morning, that is the call of Jesus Christ to us. I believe that mother was Christ that day. Amen. When she walked in, let her daughter know, you don't, no matter what you've done, no matter what you've become, come home. I love you. 
And I say to you who this morning, who may not know Jesus, I want you to know you can today. Amen. No matter what you've done, no matter what you've become, come home. I love you, Jesus says today. My goodness gracious. I think of that third thing that I want to tell you about this morning. And I praise God for it. And it's this. There's only one irreversible law of the universe. Only one. Amen. You reap what you sow. Amen. Only one. We don't like to hear this one so much, but I'm going to do it this morning anyway. Amen. This is the one. We reap what we sow. Eastern religions call it karma. Amen. We folks in the Christian tradition, we call it reaping and sowing. Amen. And there's no way around it. God loved us so much, God gave us free will. Amen. God loves you so much, God didn't, you know, and never calls clones. Amen. God calls you individuals to know that God cares. And I want to tell you this morning, God loves you more than you will ever know. I want to tell you, when I started Metropolitan Community Church uh, 33 years ago, my goodness gracious, I didn't know if anybody would come to that first service. I really didn't. I prayed. I did everything I felt like God warned me to. God spoke to me uh, in that still small voice when I prayed, okay, God, I've tried to go to church. You know, my mother used to get on to me. What is wrong with you? Why do you have to tell everybody you're a homosexual? I said, Mother, because they asked. 